Fred from Radio, I'm David Martos. This is the 77th edition of the Mostar di Venezia, and we are with Jasmila uh, Zmanik, director of Quobadis Ida. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. First of all, how is it living a, f a huge festival like this with the mask, with the measures, with the security? Oh, look, uh, we had an even story before the festival because as a Bosnian, I could not enter Italy uh, if oh. we don't spend 14 days somewhere else. Uh, also, my main actors who are from Serbia could not enter Italy. So we put them on a seaside, which is not bad for them. And we went to Berlin in a kind of quarantine in order to enter Italy. So our story with the uh, new measures started uh, much before the festival. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, a very there are many things you forget to put mask, you forget to put it out. It's a completely new way of uh, thinking. But I must say, it's so great that festival is happening. Yeah. Everybody is so enthusiastic. And I'm so happy that our film is here. And really, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, Barbera said, yes, we will do it, because I know <laughs> how many, uh, um, uh, how much responsibility it is to, to do this kind of event. Mm -hmm. Your film is placed and dated in uh, 1995's Revenica. Uh, everyone knows what happened there 25 years ago. Was it the right moment to tell this story and why? Look, we were not planning, uh, like, okay, we will do it this year or that year. You know, we started five years ago hmm. to finance it, to, to try to make it, and it took us really a long time because it is, um, you know, Bosnian production is very um, big and we have to do a lot of co-production, so it's a nine European countries involved in a film. Hmm. And just uh, luckily we were filming it last year, because we uh, didn't have all money, but uh, producer Dan Ibrahimovic, he said, okay, I'm, let's do it, even if it's risky. Um, and we were just thinking, what if he didn't say this? Mm -hmm. We would never be able to do this film. Can you imagine 400 people every day on one closed location? Yeah, of course. So this was the last moment to do this film. Otherwise, it would be that. I'm begging you to, to, to pick up this microphone because okay. this one is not going properly. Um, okay. So, and my last quick question, because I know you have to uh -huh. run, is... Um, but did you hear anything or it's okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. it was okay. heard, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, which aspect of, the, of that conflict, of the killings, do you, you think we're going to discover or, or audiences all over the world are going to discover with your film? No, I think it, um, uh, it's a story from a female perspective. Mm -hmm. And I think this is uh, not usual um, that we have war films from this perspective. And, I, you know, I, we decided, my, my team and me, never to show um, obvious uh, and, and um, a spectacular way of mm -hmm. war or killings or, 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 or other stuff. We think war is banality. It's a, just a platform for sociopaths and psychopaths and even you know the, this big words like patriotism or, or, or um, democracy is just an excuse for uh, making few people mm -hmm. profit from it so this is my attitude and of course I couldn't film it in a in a different way and uh, maybe this is something which um, is not very often in war films it's very interesting to be in the room with the negotiators in the in the film with the, the main protagonist who is a translator Jasmila, thank you very much for being with us today. Congratulations on the film. Good luck with the awards next week. Thank you very much. Thank this, you. This was an interview yeah. for Fred, the Festival Insider.